Hey there, YouTubers and collectors. This is Salvador Los Angeles with my review of this deluxe boxed set. Dr. Chenard from Hellraiser, made by NECA Real Toys. Beautiful boxed set. Nice photography on the side of the box. Hellraiser alternate head, ball jointed tentacle, disgusting detail, nine different snake accessories, Dr. Chenard. The pathways of the brain are a dark and twisting labyrinth and sometimes even the most educated minds can harbor the darkest of desires. Celebrated neurologist Philip Chenard, founder of the famed Chenard Institute, spent a lifetime trying to unlock damaged minds when in truth his own mind was the most damaged of all. Leviathan gave him his rebirth and obliged him to execute all of his putrid fantasies. Also available, visit the Hellraiser website and join the Collector's Club, www.hellraisersthemovie.com, Series 3. Pinhead, female, Frank, Bloodline Twins. As a little bit of trivia, the Bloodline Twins, or should I say the actors who portrayed the security guards who became the Bloodline Twins have a plumbing business so you can drive through the streets of Los Angeles and see the two security guard actors that became the Bloodline Twins on the side of a plumbing truck. Creative team, Randy Falk. Art direction, Ed Repka. Sculpture, Kyle Windricks. Fabrication, Oliver Brigg. Consultant, Gary J. Tunicliffe. Photography, Nicole M. Puzo. Graphics, Brian Roll. And folks, today we have a very special surprise because at the conclusion of this video, you will have the opportunity to win a Comic-Con exclusive pinhead, pewter pinhead, made by NECA Real Toys. Hellraiser pinhead Comic-Con exclusive grand prize at the conclusion of this video. If you answer the trivia question, I will send this figure anywhere in the world. That's right, folks. I will send, you know, did I also mention, not only is this pewter, it should show him in pewter, but it doesn't. But the tiny little box that comes with the figure, I believe is pewter. Well, we'll see about that. I'll double check that. Anyway, the point is, when you answer the trivia question properly, you will win this pewter figure. Oh, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. A piece of the puzzle box. That's what it has. A piece of the puzzle box comes in pewter as well. All right. Answer the trivia question. Win the prize. I'll ship it anywhere in the world. All right. This is Salvador Los Angeles, and I'm here reviewing Hellraiser Dr. Channard, made by NECA Real Toys. And I thank you for watching. Just thought I'd show you guys what it looks like halfway. This is taking the inner sleeve out of the outer box. And here he is all wrapped up. He comes with this alternate head and both of the heads have a hole on the top to insert into the fleshy phallic-y thing. We'll get into that in a second. This is of course barbed wire across his face. This plugs into his body real easily. He also comes with these spare tentacles that shoot out of his hand. I believe they go this way. One is an eyeball, one is a tongue, looks like they're coming out of little snake heads, and one is, looks like the bottom of, looks like the, a jaw with teeth. Really great looking, great looking detail. I wonder if they, if you, you could, there, yeah, I think you can, uh, yeah, I think that you can move them around. I think they're pliable. And they plug into his hands with a little attachment there this is such a wonderful piece a great piece for the horror fan the hellraiser fan the NECA collector really i i actually i honestly don't even want to review this i just want to stare at it so let's stare at it together shall we starting with the base reminiscent of the leviathan reminiscent here of the Lament configuration, also known as the Puzzle Box, also known as Le Box de Merchant. Bottom is 
plane. Bottom says 2004 Miramax film. So I think this is probably, oh, NECA, of course. So I think this is probably going on almost 10 years in the box. This disgusting piece attaches via this clip onto the bottom here. So there we are. But let's look at this. This looks like a tree stump, but it looks like a tree stump made of flesh. Maggots there. Maggots hanging out. Let's zoom into that. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom. Yes. Yes. Full of maggots. Delicious maggots. Look at those veins. Fleshy, fleshy, maggoty tree stump. Disgusting. And then that attaches to this. Some things that I've read say that this is a giant penis. Well, let's look at this. Okay, so here you may say are the testicles. I mean, these look kind of testicular. And then here does look like a penis head. So one may argue that this is a giant, looks like some uh, bones in there. This is a giant bony, fleshy tree stump penis. Look, the penis has a spine. Don't be misled. This doesn't bend any other directions, but look, the penis has a spine. The penis has a head. And then the penis sprouts out to attach onto Dr. Channard's head right there. Blink. So there's the hole in the head. You see that? So this attaches right there. But again, tremendous detail on this fleshy, bony, spiny penis with testicles. Oh, by the way, there is a swivel there at the penis head. And also when you connect it here, there is swivel there as well. So you get two points of articulation in the giant penis head. First of all, let's go over some of his articulation. His shoulder is swiveling. He does have a cut at the mid bicep and also a swivel at the elbow and then a swivel at the wrist. It seems a little fragile. He has been in the box a very long time. Same thing. Oh, actually it looks like his shoulders move in and out on both sides. Yeah, so he's got, I think what they call a butterfly shoulder. I've heard that reference. I kind of like it. So butterfly shoulder can move in and out and then swivel there and then elbow swivel. No wrist swivel on, yeah, there is. There's a wrist, wrist, a wrist, a wrist swivel on this side. And he has a hip V cut swivel. He has upper thigh swivel, same thing on both sides. He has a knee joint to bend. And he has a mid calf swivel on both sides. And then he has a hinge at the ankle. So there's a lot of articulation in this figure, not what you might expect in your average figure, but there is a lot of articulation. Let's look at what pops out of his hands. He has uh, one of these snake heads popping out knives. I think this twirls around in, in the motion pictures, twirls around. This one, oh, this one I remember had the little scissors. By the way, it, you can actually uh, look up on YouTube this particular clip if you just want to see this particular portion where Dr. Channard first comes out and these things pop out of his hands, just go ahead and YouTube Dr. Channard Hellraiser and you'll be able to see it. And then the knife right here. And on the right side, we have a long knife there. And then we have, I believe this one spins around as well. And then he has a tuning fork. He has a tuning fork in his left hand in case he wants to do any music? No, I don't know if that's a tuning fork. I think it's to poke your eyes out or something. And let's get a close-up view of his face right there. This is the head that comes with him out of the box. Of course, that is barbed wire. If you remember the movie, that is barbed wire around his head. I actually like this figure more than I thought I would. I mean, I knew that I would like it but I actually like it more 
than I thought I would. The figure is nicer than I thought it would. Uh, nicer than I thought I would think it was. Check out his back there in the back. You can see his flesh. And excellent detail on his entire outfit. Let me zoom out again. Excellent detail on his costume. Real nice work. I'm really pleased with this figure, more than I thought I would be. I, I like it more than I thought I would. Actually, I believe that he appears a bit darker blue in this camera. This is the iPhone 5. I believe that in real life, he looks like he's a little bit lighter blue. So he's a little darker here on the camera. And the red portions, the, the, the red, oh, it looks like his buckles are actually going into his flesh. Uh, a little more red in person, a little more purpley here. Purpley. Purpley, I said it. So you can pose in many different ways, but most likely you're just going to have them posed in one manner. And that will be attached at the head. And then this attached to, attached to the base. And then there is Dr. Chenard coming at you. All right, guys, as promised, if you want to win this Comic-Con exclusive pinhead in pewter form, and by pewter, I mean it's painted to look like pewter. It's not actual pewter. But if you want to win this, and I will send it to you, here's how you do it. Okay, the first person to answer this question. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a figure. I'm going to show you the piece of a figure. I'm going to show you a part of a figure. If you can name the figure, okay, then the first person to do so, I will send this Comic-Con exclusive pinhead, all right? Now, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a hint. It is not a NECA figure, and it is not a Hellraiser figure. So it's not a Hellraiser, it's not a NECA, and here we go, okay? First person to tell me what figure this is, you are going to win. See that? What are those? Look like... Well, I'm not going to say anything. Tell me what figure this is, if you want to win. All right, everybody. Salvador, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching. But again, tremendous detail on this fleshy, bony, spiny penis with testicles. <laughs>